In this lesson, you create a composite floor deck. Floors can have composite decking added. The decking is a 2D profile family. The decking will be visible in section or elevation, but is not modelled for file size and model efficiency. The deck can have concrete cantilevers to allow for cantilevers and edge trims. Structural openings can be added with the floor profile. Multiple closed profiles can be added, which is quick and efficient. Alternatively, you can add openings with the shaft opening tool, which allows you to cut through multiple floors at the same time. This is ideal when creating things like lift shafts or risers up through building structures. This lesson continues from module 5.1. Go ahead and open up project A. Let's begin by copying the floor slab. We'll select our first floor slab, and then on the context ribbon, we'll select copy to clipboard. You'll then notice that the paste button is available, and then we'll go to the paste pull down, and here we'll say align selected to levels. Here, let's paste this to 02, second floor. So now that our slab is pasted in, we need to adjust the geometry. The composite deck will stop on the next grid line in. To make this edit, we'll select our slab, and on the context ribbon, we'll select edit boundary. To help us understand this better, let's go ahead and open up the structural plane 0 2 second. So here I'm going to delete these two boundary lines, and here we'll simply trim extend to corner to close up this straight portion of the slab. To do this on the context ribbon, go ahead and select trim extend to corner. We can select this line here, and then it's important to pick this side of the line because this is the part we want to keep and you can now see our slab has trimmed back. We'll select the finish edit mode tick to complete the operation. Now, of course, our floor type is currently our RC slab 250. We need to go ahead and edit this. So we'll select edit type, and now we'll duplicate this floor. This is now going to be a composite slab. So we'll change the name here to RC composite. And here, the floor slab is going to be 175 mil thick. To edit the floor type, we'll select the edit button. And once again, in the bottom left hand corner of the dialog box, we'll show a preview. Of course, we can resize the dialog. And here you can see that we currently have our reinforced concrete slab. I'm going to change the thickness to 175. And additionally, I'm going to now go ahead and insert another layer. The structural deck, of course, needs to be below the concrete, so I'm going to move this down. And here, the function will now be a structural deck. If we zoom up on the preview, we can now see the deck profile. The deck profile is controlled down here with deck properties. Now, these are profiles that you can load into Revit. Of course, if you load in the profile, then it will be available in the deck profile pull down here. In this example, I'm going to use Chorus Comfloor 70 one millimeter. It's also important to change our material. So here, we'll browse to our materials browser. We'll search for 275, and here we'll select Metal Steel 43 275. And of course now, if we click OK, and OK again, you can now see our slab has been modeled. If we go back and open up the 3D view, we can now see our floor slab shown here, and of course you'll see the blue coloration on the sides and underneath to represent the steel deck. If we want to see this steel deck in more detail, we'll need to cut a section through the model. To do this, we'll go back to our O2 second floor. We'll then select the view ribbon, and on the view ribbon, we'll select section. I'm going to begin here by cutting a section through this portion of the floor slab. And of course now, if we double click on the section head, we can then open up that section and we can clearly see our deck profile. In a later module, when we create our steel framing underneath the deck, we'll then add concrete cantilevers and shear studs to complete the design. Let's now switch back to the 3D view. And one thing we will have to do is change the way the walls join to the concrete steel deck. Clearly here, you can see that the steel deck is going through these concrete walls. To change this, we'll first select our concrete slab, 
and then on the context ribbon we'll select join. In this example here I'm going to select multiple join and then I'll select my composite slab and then I'll select these walls like so. The next thing we'll need to do is reverse the join. To do that I can select the modify ribbon again and here we can go to the join pull down and select switch join order. Once again on the options bar I want to ensure that I'm going to perform a multiple switch. I'll select my composite slab and then select my walls and now you can see the join order has switched. Okay so that concludes our lesson. Make sure you save your model for the next video.